What's going on YouTube? I am uh, doing a project today that probably most of you will not ever have to do, but I figure I'm here, I'm gonna do it. I make YouTube content now, why not show you? So you have my Texas Pride roll-off trailer. There's a tarp assembly and then a tarp arm. Arm goes out, assembly houses, the bearing, the motor, the pole that winds the tarp, all that. Essentially, the tarp motor is mounted to the side, it's bolted onto the assembly, then there's a wire that runs down into a box, that box is fed into the power of the system. You know, just something about the, the jacking of the tarp wasn't functioning like it should. Um, the tarp motor broke, it sheared the metal off where it attaches to the bolts that hold it into the assembly. So this is the wiring, this is the motor, this is the motor cover and the bolts and accessories. I got a couple tools here. Um, I've never done this before, so I am not some expert teaching you how to do this. We're gonna learn together. Exactly, on the 16 rails, it's a 15, a 20, and a 25 yard can, all three different heights. So essentially you have a four foot height, a five foot height, and a six foot height. Four foot being the shortest, which would be a 15 yarder. So um, you set the pin heights for different size cans based on the length of the rails and the height of the can that you have, okay? Now this tarp, I believe what happened, because they had to paint this trailer twice, I believe they hooked it up probably right the first time, and then the next day after they did repaint, um, they had to work with what they had. So essentially, when they ran from this box up to the motor, which is right here, okay? I'll show you from this side. I believe they just ran this cable in a poor way, okay? So this is the full amount of slack that this whole cable has all the way to the motor, and I'm set in the downward position. So what had happened was I was set to pin two, trying to go to pin three. I cranked on the jack here, let me show you cranked on the jack here, right? That's how you raise and lower. And I got to the top, I encountered resistance and me being the giant brute that I am, um, didn't stop to think what I was doing. And I sheared the bolts off for the motor. So I'll show you on the unit that's here. So essentially this would be the outside of the motor. This would be the inside. Um, these where the bolts would attach are sheared off. I'll show you when I take it off. So, um, because the cable is essentially their fault, they're taking, uh, ownership of the motor as well. They sent me a new motor, new cable, new everything, and I'm going to knock it out now. So they would actually do this, um, or pay someone to do this. I'm sorry. Uh, if I wanted to, but this seems like a simple enough job. It's basically just, you know, reinstalling a cable and reinstalling some bolts on the motor. Will it be that easy? Let's find out. Uh, wish me luck. And if you're in this similar position later down the road, replacing any of the tarp arm pieces or anything like that, um, hopefully this helps you out. So I don't know if this is actually a requirement, but because I'm doing some stuff with electrical, I'm just going to play it safe. Disconnected the battery. Oh, I just did the Note to self, extend the tarp before you disconnect the power. All right, so I have now extended out the tarp, which will make my life a lot easier. I don't know if I have to do that, but it releases all the tension on the bar, which is where I'm gonna have to disconnect, Ooh, right there, right where I'm gonna have to disconnect the motor. So I'm gonna disconnect the battery again, and then hopefully we'll get this right moving forward. All right, take the cover off. So it looks like it shouldn't be that difficult. All right, so 7 sixteenths was the nuts that hold the, uh, the wires to the motor. There's a half inch required for, oh, I'll just pull the camera in there. So you'll see right there at the bar, boom, there's a little nut. It looks like that's what's holding, 
Looks like that's what's holding my motor in place right now because everything else is sheared off. Let's see in there. So we're gonna hopefully get that tarp released right now. Let me pull that nut off and see what we're dealing with. Not a real happy man right now. Okay, so now in theory, this should just slide out of here. Let's see what she does. Oh yeah. Okay. We now have a disconnected motor. So you can actually see some metal broke and some grease is going. Now, the second fun part. So this is where we have to actually get cable changed. So come on over. All right. So we're gonna be working right up in here. That's one, now we got another. All right. Okay, cover is off. You can actually see they broke that, they broke that when they were uh, putting it in originally. What, what can you do, Rick? They just started mowing the lawn next door, so I'm gonna try and do a little bit of this in a minute, but um, you'll see here, right? I've got to disconnect this cable and this cable, but I don't have to disconnect this cable. I'm gonna pull red cable, and red's red and black, and black cable off and out from there. And then this should now just feed out to the motor. All right, so we now have the wiring disconnected on this end and on this end. Now we just gotta unfeed it and then put the new wire back in there so we can feed it to the correct length. This is the cable that it came with. This is the cable that they just sent. Something tells me someone cut that a little shorter than they should have. Let's get a refit in there. Connector already came on. So for those of you who don't know too much about electrical wiring, you see inside there how it's a little deformed. Essentially, all you're doing is taking uh, a circular a circular piece of metal and then clamping onto it to bend that down onto the wire, which in theory should hold it. Obviously, that didn't happen, so um, I should be able to just re-bend this back and shove it back in there and clamp it down. We're going to find out. that smooshed good well the one I put on was good the one I didn't put on just slipped off so. <sighs> so hopefully this can help somebody else out um, on these because they're not circular I just pulled the sleeve off I'm grabbing them with these on the tab just to hold that in place right and then I take my needle nose and just shove them in there and the farther you can get the needle nose in, the more circular it's gonna be, but you don't wanna to bend too much cause you'll end up breaking the metal off. All right, so I just took one of these uh, tie downs off. The rubber is much, much, much easier to put on if it is off the trailer, although I didn't wanna take it off the trailer. But these are important. You don't want to have that cable getting cut as you're lifting the tarp up and down. Back on. Then just uh, loop it around the thumb, basically. Line up the holes again. Put the cable through first and then just 
put it back. All right, we're gonna take a little temporary break from the wiring. I'm gonna get this motor mounted up in here, but first I wanted to show you, this is the actual sheared off metal. So it probably did cause a little bit of flex in here. A little bit, a little flex in there. Not too much, it looks like it should remount fine. Right. New motor, bolts. Didn't really think about it before, okay? I just mounted my motor, then I realized. So make sure you install that before you run your motor. So that'll actually rest there on that without a bolt now. Make sure it doesn't drop on my head. Now, this is the original bolt. Original bolt is bent. I'm a little annoyed about that, but I think we're gonna make it work anyway. Oh, it's feeding slowly, but it's feeding. She's in there. I was tightening on the nut. So just a fair point while I'm thinking about it. These two don't actually have indicators on which one is which. Um, I do have the advantage of I have the video and I can double check the footage to see where the cable was connected. So you have two different cables, um, but not everyone's gonna have that. So I would advise you take a picture of it, see where it's set up on the motor currently. Old motor is the same model, same setup. So it's safe to say that it's the same wiring position. All right, now we're gonna put her back together somewhat and test it to make sure I can get the proper amount of slack before I am finito. All right, we can pull basically all the slack out of this because this is a fixed position. So you want the slack not to be tight, but to not be loose from the motor basically to where um, you meet the lift right here. All right, <clears throat> so here's where we are at. Uh, if you forget to cover or put your plastic cover on, electrical tape also works. Um, this connector gave me a bunch of trouble, so I just ended up um, fiddling with it a bunch. I cut the cable down a little bit more and uh, electric taped around it after I forgot to put the plastic sleeve on. So we are fully mounted. The tarp essentially is ready to go once I put the cover on. I just need to finish wiring my cable into the panel right there. All right, so when you do the tarp, you pull these pins, oh, pull these pins um, on both sides and then crank the jack and that should lift this up. Pin is already out. So we are about to do a test run right now and see if we have actually gotten somewhere. So uh, I'm gonna plug in the battery again, and let's give it a uh, test. Success.